got a 1992 Suzuki <laughs> LT250R. Super fun quad. Probably the differences, I guess, with older quads and the newer stuff. 450s, they're super hot. If you go down a little bit, like say 400EX World and stuff, you just feel the weight difference to me. Like this is lively. It's real flickable and stuff, I guess. The power band, of course, is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. The wheel spins fun, of course. The four strokes, they're kind of like engaged, more engaged. This, the tail end is kind of fluttering. Sounds good too. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Carhartt. <laughs> so 92, I mean, you were born in 94. Yeah, it's in better shape than I am. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I mean, this one's got the headlight delete. And it's stock bars. It used to have a crossbar here. Somebody buzzed that off. Just a ripper. Yeah, they are rippers. <laughs> yeah, it's tight. I think I, did I put axle bearings in it? No, that was the 350X. Nope, this one, I can't find anything it needs. But yeah, it's, I mean, this wheel bearing might be a little sloppy. I mean, these are the stock fronts. 31 years old? Yeah. I mean, I hate to think those are, I know those were stock, the fronts. This pipe's in good shape. Yeah, got a good sure. got a good color coming from it's all blue <laughs> I'm pretty sure oh it's beautiful yeah I'm pretty sure that was pretty fresh when I bought it and that blue is sick I paid two grand for this I think that's cheap fun yeah it is it might be a little weak on the top end might need to <laughs> it doesn't sound like it might need to <laughs> coming up but again that's what's great about the two strokes isn't it just nope. check compression and send it I mean, you know, it's if it's down on power, you just need to freshen up the top end, keep oil in it. The boots getting buggy. This is the best thing. I mean, it's just light. Yeah, two stroke light. As you get stuck, I mean, you just kind of grab a bar and start dragging it around. But yeah, it would be Dirt Wheels magazines. You'd just stare at these pictures of them. Because back then, like I say, with the internets and stuff now, you just, you couldn't even, you had to get a magazine to look at this stuff. Even if you went to, like say, a power sports place, they were few and far between. Supposedly all the new stuff's so much better and whatnot, you know? I don't know if it is. Especially the price. Yeah, more expensive. <laughs> As you go to the power sports places now, like I was saying, I was in the one in town the other day. The top of the line sled, the Lynx is $25,000 freaking dollars, yeah. which that thing's a machine. Don't get me wrong, but wow. I haven't had to get into like, say the K&M engines too deep, but I've watched some videos of like rebuilds and stuff. And that looks like a nightmare, yeah. like rebuilding a twin. Compared to a top end on a two stroke, I mean, yeah. it's two hours away. Yeah. 
I mean, granted, the, you've got to throw a little money at the top end if you get into the jug and stuff. But yeah. Just don't get into the jug. Yeah. Just they're, keep they're cheap and fresh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's unfortunate. This is a basic, basic engine. And everything else is built to last, you can tell. Why did we get away from it? Because they want you to spend money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty tickled I found one. Woo, that's a nice one.